Hi everybody, today's video tip is specifically for shortstop. And when I come back, I'm gonna show shortstops four ways that they can quicken up their double play feeds to second base. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, folks, welcome back. I'm Coach Bob McCreary, the founder of Baseball by the Yard. Dot com and today's video as I said is for shortstops okay I said I was going to give you four things that shortstops can do to quicken their feeds on a double play to second base now if you have been a visitor to my website uh, I have said many many times that as you get older the game gets faster and if you can't keep up with the pace of the game then your career's over and you're gonna have to find another hobby so all these little things that I'm gonna show you today four of them are gonna help you keep up with the speed of the game now the first one involves footwork I've also said many times that baseball is played from the ground up and so if you immediately want to become a better player especially a quicker player you have to focus on what your feet are doing clean up your footwork and you will immediately become a better player in this case become a quicker player with regard to your feet so tip number one is what foot you have in front of the other one when you are fielding the ball now on normal ground balls infielders are typically taught to have their left foot slightly in front of their right foot when they are fielding the ground ball so the last two steps if i'm going to field a normal ground ball and throw to first base is i'm going to step with my right foot my left foot goes slightly in front of my right foot i field i put my right foot in front left foot in front so it's always one foot in front of the other that's typically how infielders are taught with the basic footwork of fielding a ground ball that works if the fielder is throwing the ball to first base doesn't work so well if i'm only throwing it to second base to start a double play now when kids are taught that very often the remedy that they are shown is to on a feed to second base because my left foot is in front of my right when i feel the ground ball it's to catch step back and then make the flip to second base okay now that stepping back process of course clears my hips and makes it easier for me to throw to second base but it does take time and it's something that we can eliminate if we do the following on this particular play if i know i'm going to go to second base this is one example of how i can take a strong right foot step to the ball and not worry about my left foot so instead of catching the ball with my left foot forward catching it and then having to open up the throw on a ground ball double play i can step strong with my right foot when i catch the ball leave my left foot here and i'm already open to second base so instead of catch open throw i make a strong right foot step to catch the ball i'm already open and i just make the flip i'm eliminating that step that's unnecessary because i only have maybe a 15 or 20 foot throw i don't need to take that extra step i'm already cleared with my right foot being ahead and i can make that easy throw second base okay, okay so tip number one had to do with your feet okay now i want to talk about some glove and hands things for number two three and four tip okay the first tip involves not ever or very rarely taking your glove past your chest okay now the glove is on my left side because i'm right-handed okay if i take the center of my body i want to try not to take my glove on the right half of my body okay keep it in the center or keep it on the left so let me show you what a lot of players will do when they catch a ground ball let's say it's a chopper to me and i'm going to start a double play kid will come here he'll catch the ball in the center of his body and then you'll sometimes see the glove come down and go to the right and then he makes the throw okay taking both hands on this side of my chest especially my glove is going to slow me down a little bit so i want to try as an infielder as a shortstop here don't let my glove go past that center line 
So in that case here, instead of taking both hands to my right to set myself to throw, I just take the ball out and I keep my glove either in the center or on the left half. I don't follow my glove with the ball, okay? Catch, keep the glove here and just take the ball out. It's gonna be quicker than taking two hands over here. So that's tip number two. Keep your glove on the left half of your body. Don't let it drift on that side when you're getting ready to throw. All right, now tip number three involves small circles, okay? When kids are little, really kids develop one throwing motion. But as kids get older and they become more position specific, you're gonna have to develop a throwing motion that is best for that position. If I'm a pitcher or an outfielder, I can afford to have a big circle when I throw, okay? An outfielder needs that power in order to reach home plate and so forth. Pitcher needs bigger circles because they want maximum velocity in most cases. If I have a long throw from third base, maybe I lengthen that circle and I make a long throw to first base. But if I'm a middle infielder, and I have to get rid of the ball quickly, in this case, make a quick feed to second base, and it's not that far of a throw, I want to have a small circle. So one of the mistakes that a shortstop will make on a double play is they will catch the ball, and they will bring the ball down, up, around, and then throw. They create a very large circle when they are throwing the ball, even a short distance. If I'm throwing the ball to first base, I can have a longer throwing motion for me to throw that 90, maybe to 100 feet of a throw. But if I'm only throwing 20 feet, I wanna make that circle much smaller. So when I come here and catch the ball, I want a small circle, okay? Right in here is where I want that ball to go, okay? All the way down, all the way around is just gonna to take too much time. I need smaller circles when I catch and throw for my feet. So tip number three, Make sure you create small circles with your hand in the ball. Get rid of that ball quicker. Okay, tip number four is another general tip that I will give middle infielders, and that is on double play feeds, whatever height you catch the ball is the general height at which you want to release the ball when you are throwing to second base. Okay, tip number three, of course, was small circles, but when I actually release the ball, I wanna to try to release it at the same height or approximately the same height at which I caught the ball. So here is a mistake that I'll see some kids make. They will catch a high chopper, maybe about their face height, and then they catch and then come down here in order to make a throw. Or on the flip side, they will catch a ground ball that's hugging the ground and come all the way up here to make the throw to second base. And that's wasting a lot of time. So the general rule is whatever height I catch the ball is generally the height at which I wanna release the ball. So on that play where I get a high chopper, let's say I catch the ball about chin high, I wanna release it chin high. Catch, chin, throw, chin. If I catch the ball about waist high, then I wanna throw waist high. If I catch the ball near the ground, then I wanna throw from low as well. Okay, so in review, step number one or tip number one was try to lead with your right foot on a ground ball so that my body is already slightly angled to second base. It's one less thing that I have to do. Tip number two was not taking my glove past the center line. If I can just take the ball out and leave my glove center line or to the left, I'm gonna be quicker as opposed to taking my glove. Tip number three was creating small circles, okay? Catch and throw with a small circle. And the last tip was to try to release the ball at the same height at which I caught the ball. All four of those things are gonna save you time and allow you to keep up with the speed of the game as you get older. All right, folks, well, I'm Coach McCreary uh, from Baseball by the Yard, so thanks for stopping by. And until next time, take care, and I am out.